All right, welcome to another video. In this video, we're gonna go over eager loading in Ruby on Rails and also preloading associations. So um, for those of you who are familiar with Rails development, um, you probably know what M plus one queries are. It's a classic uh, performance uh, problems that can, that can be easily sol solved by something called eager loading. And um, I mean, this, is, this is something I found while Googling around. It's a pretty classic example, and I'm gonna go over it real quick. So uh, this is going over uh, a pretty simple uh, model, two models that, have, that are associated with one another. We have the user model here, and then we also have the address model here. Uh, the user has many addresses, and the address belongs to a user. Now, um, now, this is an example um, of, uh, of a loop, of some code that will, that will result in this classic M plus one query problem. So it's loading up all of the users here, and then um, it is uh, printing out the user's name. And then after that, within that same loop, we are loading up the addresses for that user. We're looping over that and then we are uh, printing out the address, uh, the, I guess, address attribute, um, which in this case, it's address line one. Now, this looks okay, but it's really not because um, what it does is like we load up all of the users and for each of the user, we have to fire up the uh, query to load up the address again. So here is an example. It says uh, this loop uh, fires this query right here, select users from users, and then for each user, it fires the select addresses from uh, addresses where user ID is this. Um, so it, it creates a lot of extra queries that, are that aren't necessary. So it says 30 in, uh, which makes n plus one queries. Now, um, it says above can be optimized using includes or join. So the classic way is using include. So if you use before, doing this thing right here. If you do user that includes, and then you do the uh, loop it over with each, what will happen is it will load up all of the users and it'll get those user IDs and then, then it'll load up all of the addresses and then um, load, up, load up the preloaded address data into each user. So um, using includes here, it reduces the number of queries that you fire from 31 down to two, so it's it's much more efficient. So in the context of the Rails console, the way we check that, so this this is an app I'm gonna use as an example. I used this as an example app before. It's a quiz taking app um, that I wrote a long time ago. And we have two models here. We have the, the user model, and then we also have the uh, quiz model. And in, in Rails, um, the way you can check um, whether uh, an association has been loaded is by using something called loaded. Um, so you can see here, I'm gonna get my first user and this user has uh, 25, um, 25 quizzes assigned to that user. So here, if I do user.quizzes um, and type in loaded, it'll return false. So if I write um, some code um, that is similar to this um, using our user without having eager loaded here, like using includes, it will return false. So um, if I don't, if I just do loop like this, um, and then you know do something like this, it, it, it'll it'll result in a um, in a in, in an n plus one query. So it's not. That's not good. And again, the classic way we avoid this is by doing user dot includes quizzes dot grab the first user and then quizzes. And then if we call load it on this, it'll return true. Um, and uh, you can see the, the proper queries of uh, firing here. So simple enough. And this is something that you'll see pretty common in, in Rails apps. Now, um, another common scenario, which this is just something I learned recently, um, another common scenario that you'll come across is um, like you'll have a collection of 
of records, and that collection would be an array. So let me show you what I mean. So if we, this, this includes, uh, which does the eager loading uh, thing, um, this is an active record method. So it only works on active record association. So if I do something like user.all.class, you can see that this is an active record relation. So if I do user.all.includes quizzes, um, the, the code fires properly. However, if I do something like user.all.2a, um, which is which we result in the, the normal Ruby array um, uh, structure, if we call includes on this, it won't work because we're trying to call includes on, on an array and not on an active record relation. Um, so like this scenario in traditional Rails apps happen pretty frequently. Um, so, uh, I've seen people do something like, you know, if you have um, an array uh, method, if you have an array structure, a collection of, um, of records in an array, I've seen people do something like querying it again by getting the IDs of all the collections. And then um, by doing that, you get the active record relation again because you, you just ran another uh, active record uh, query and then um, calling includes on this like this. Now this is an unnecessary query in my opinion and actually pretty um, verbose. You don't really need to do this. The way you get around this is um, you do something. You you um, grab a method that's uh, built into Rails and you grab a class that is built into Rails and then you utilize that and that's called active record. Uh, associations, preloader, um, and then you call new on it, you instantiate it, and then you call a method called preload. And the first argument that you pass in is the collection of arrays. So let me actually reload this again um, and make sure that it's an array. And then um, type active record associations, preloader, dot new, dot preload, um, pass in the uh, user's array. And then um, the second argument is a symbol. Um, and then you pass in the association that you want to preload. So in this case, it will be quizzes. Now, if we do that, um, you can see that it looped over all of the arrays and then it loaded up all the quizzes for, the, for all the users in the array. And then it, it preloaded all of the quizzes onto the user uh, class, or so the, the instance of the user class here. So if now, if I go back to users array that we have here, um, and then get the first user, type in quizzes, and then call loaded on it, it'll say the quizzes have been uh, preloaded onto the user. And if you loop, this user and then call quizzes on this like this um, this you won't you won't get any n plus one uh, query problem with this so um, this is this this is what I wanted to go over in this video um, the the whole classic way of eager loading and also if you are in a situation where you have a collection of records um, but it's an array and and not an active record relation uh, collection, um, you can still eager load um, or preload associations onto the records within your Ruby array to avoid n plus one uh, problems. So um, hopefully this video was helpful. Um, if you have any suggestions, uh, do let me know and um, I will definitely look into covering it. Okay, thanks for watching.